Hello everyone, I'm Jake Storama with Broco Gaming. Today I'd like to show you how and why I farm Pyrapete the Invincible. Pyrapete is not known for dropping the greatest loot, but he's definitely worth farming for a few good reasons. He will drop random legendary items including weapons, shields, grenade mods, and class mods. I like it! I want it! He drops Seraph shields and grenades, and the main reason for farming them He's relatively easy to beat, and he drops a good amount of Seraph Crystals, which can be used to buy great items like the Antagonist Shield, the Florentine SMG, a Binary Infection, and more. First off, there are two things that you must do in order to farm Pyrapeat for Seraph Crystals. You must be in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, and complete the mission Pete the Invincible, which becomes available after finishing Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage DLC. When you first start battling Pyropete, he'll be wearing a helmet which prevents you from doing any critical hit damage. Typically, you need to destroy his shield and then do enough health damage before his helmet will pop off. This is where the Trespasser Sniper Rifle comes in. The Trespasser will shoot through shields. This will allow you to pop off his helmet and start doing critical hit damage almost the entire time you're fighting him, which will dramatically shorten the amount of time it takes to kill him. You can obtain the Trespasser as a reward for completing the mission, Animal Rights, in the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. So to start off the battle, you'll need a few items which will work with any character. The Trespasser Sniper Rifle, something to slag with, such as a Grog Nozzle or Magic Missile, the Beast Shield, any relic that boosts Sniper Rifle damage, and any class mod that will help increase the damage of the Trespasser and this will vary depending on what character you're using. While battling Pyropete, I'm going to be utilizing the ledge that's behind these two pillars in the arena. This can be very helpful, especially if you don't have the best weapons, or if you find it difficult to defeat Pete on the floor. In either corner between the two pillars, you'll be able to jump up onto the ledge, but I find it easier to jump up on the ledge using the right corner. This is the first thing that you want to do, so let's pay to get the battle started, and get up on the ledge. Run over to the pillars and jump up into the right corner. After your first jump, keep hitting the jump button as fast as you possibly can until you raise up onto the ledge. As soon as you get up onto the ledge, it's best to hide behind the right pillar until you know what Pyropete is doing. From up here on the ledge, you'll want to keep Pyropete slagged and shoot his helmet with the trespasser until it pops off. So there are a few things to be careful of while you're doing this. Pyropete will do caustic and incendiary blasts. Just before he does this, he'll make a warning sound and raise his arms. When you hear this, hide behind a pillar for protection as soon as you can. Also, Pyropete will continue to attempt to jump up on the ledge until he's successful. This is a good thing. Once Pyropete is on the ledge, jump down. Now Pyropete is stuck up on the ledge and he's an easier target. Once you have successfully removed his helmet, he will quickly do a blast that you'll need to avoid. Now make changes necessary to your setup to do maximum critical hit and shock damage to destroy his shield. I prefer to use a shock sandhawk, an SMG damage relic, and a class mod that's appropriate for your character. I'll put some combinations I like to use for different characters in the description of this video and let me know what you like to use in the comments. As soon as you obliterate Pete's shield, he'll quickly do another blast, so watch out for that. Now change your setup again to do pure critical hit damage. Some great items for this are a double penetrating unkept herald, stopping sandhawk, lady fist, chaotic evil class mod, a Sheriff's Badge Relic for Pistols, the appropriate Weapon Damage Relic, and many others. Here are a few tips to help you out during the battle. When Pete walks to the very far right or left of the ledge, avoid going out there with him. It's difficult to get behind the pillar in time to avoid his blast, so stay closer to the pillars. If you do get blasted by Pete's fire or corrosion, you'll want to go to this water valve turn it on and walk through the water. If you don't do this, the fire or corrosion will not stop until you either kill Pete 
or you get killed yourself. When you turn this water valve, it will release spider ants, and the other one will release rats, which are harder to kill. A shock singularity grenade like a quasar will easily take care of the spider ants. If you run out of ammo, just activate this and two chests will appear with ammo. And speaking of ammo, it's a great idea to have a high damage weapon of each type with you if you possibly can, especially if it has added critical hit damage. This way, if you run out of ammo with one weapon type, just switch to another. Just don't forget to switch the relic and possibly the class mod to boost each weapon type. After you kill Pete, collect your rewards and this might entail jumping back up onto the ledge. I've noticed that sometimes you can't jump back up onto the ledge after you kill Pete. Some of the time, this is due to the loot blocking your way. So you can just jump up, pick it up, clear it out, and you should be able to get up onto the ledge. And if all else fails, you can do a grenade jump. To do this, unequip your grenade mod so you don't have one. Throw a grenade into the corner, run up to it, and jump right before it explodes. This should propel you up onto the ledge, but it does take a few tries to get the timing down. And finally, when you're done collecting everything, don't forget to check the two chests in the room where Moxie used to be. You have a chance to score legendaries from them. And that's how I farm Pyro Pete. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like this video as it really helps us out. Subscribe for more videos, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and good luck farming Pyro Pete. This is Jake Storama, signing off.